guys it has been a while since i picked up a camera and actually did a real-time vlog i feel a little bit disconnected i've been running all around over the past month and i've just had some pretty cool opportunities arise so i've been capitalizing on them and making the best out of things financially things have been going really well and as always i'm just going to invest that back into the channel but we are actually on the way to the bmv I spent way too much time at that place. Gotta get the title transferred for the Beamer. I know you really haven't seen this yet and you probably won't because it's getting sold. I do plan on taking the bras out soon and doing an off-road review video. The KTM needs some work. We got a box full of parts and the CB will be leaving us as well. I know you probably haven't even seen this bike yet. X Trainer's doing good. Got the Hemiway, got several other e-bikes. KDX sitting in the back. To be honest, I've been thinking about starting a second channel to just dedicate to review style videos and all of the e-bikes that I'm getting and all of the product related videos. I might just migrate that to a second channel. That way I can keep Adventure Daily adventure based and focus more on the life experiences rather than the stuff. But I already checked in online, so I gotta get going. years later well you guys in just a couple hours we will be saying goodbye to the beamer this is the only bmw that i have ever owned on my mom's side of the family i have a cousin and an aunt who have had a lot of bmw motorcycles and i think michelle still actually does have a gs but they've ridden a bunch of different gs bikes and michelle at least was pretty involved in the adv world definitely had an influence in my love for motorcycles i'm sure but this thing is known as the baby gs so it's around 300 cc's it's fairly lightweight and has a decently low seat height for shorter riders and that's actually why i bought it for alexis but even then it's still a little bit tall there's really no adventure bike out there that's going to be short enough for that five foot mark where she's at but we definitely could have made it work bmw actually sells a lowered seat and i had bought a two inch lowering link from t-rex racing to put on there but life has different plans and i get tired of looking at things sit so she's getting sold today but I've had a chance to rack up, I don't know, 100 miles on this thing. So what do I think about it coming from the Super Tenere? It's fun, man. This thing is a lot of fun to ride. With the lower CC, you can really just ring through all the gears and give it the berries. It's not going to get you into a lot of trouble. It's lightweight. It's fun to flick around. I have not taken it off road, but I think it would do all right. Now it does have cast wheels, so that is one thing. If you plan on doing some serious off-roading, you're gonna risk bending and or cracking those wheels. But I've seen a few videos of people doing some gnarly riding with these bikes, so just know your limits and know the limits of the bike. I think what BMW spent the most on with this bike is the aesthetic. The plastics, fairings, seat, rack, Everything looks premium on this bike. And this is a budget entry level bike. I think the MSRP is around 5,500, so it is pretty affordable. When you start getting towards the top of the list of the GS bikes, you're 
moving towards that fifteen to twenty thousand dollar mark which is pretty crazy but obviously you get a lot less with this bike it does have abs which you can toggle on and off which is nice something else cool on this bike is the engine is actually flipped so most motorcycles the exhaust comes out the front and wraps around the engine is actually flipped, so as you can see, the exhaust comes right out of the back here, so it's got a really short run. That can be good with heat, a little bit of weight savings, and I don't know, I think it's cool, something unique. It is chain drive, obviously, at that price point. You do get a shaft drive with the more expensive GS bikes, and I loved the shaft drive on the Super Tenere. They nailed it with that design. I mean, there's been people who racked up thousands and thousands of miles not touching anything. So I really do prefer shaft drive and heavier ADV bikes, it just makes sense. But basically, if you like the BMW name and you want a premium but budget motorcycle, this might appeal to you. Overall, nothing fancy. Like I said, I just wanted to do this video to give you my thoughts because a lot of people were like, what the hell is this thing when I showed it in one of my last videos? But it is leaving us today, so say goodbye. Here in a couple hours, I will be delivering it to the new owner. He's kind of been a pain in my ass, so I'm looking forward to just letting this thing go and moving on. But as far as the future of ADV bikes on the Adventure Daily channel, I definitely would like to add another one. Ideally, I would want the T7, the Yamaha Tenere. But for the price and how much I'm actually gonna ride it, I don't know if I can justify it right now. I'm really looking to get something that I can haul diesel with. Still, I'm on the hunt for something with a sidecar or something that can pull a trailer. Might end up with a gold wing and a trailer at this point, I'm not sure. But that takes priority over the adventure bike for now. And I've got some pretty exciting news coming to the channel. Ah, what the hell, man. If you made it this far, I'll go ahead and fill you in. We're getting some land. Yes, Adventure Daily is gonna have a new headquarters, so I'm really looking forward to that. Obviously, it's gonna bring a lot of great content to the channel, and I'm looking forward to doing some homesteading and bushcraft style videos and tying that all in with motorcycles. So a lot more outdoors content coming to the channel, which I'm really looking forward to. Like I said, I've felt a little bit disconnected, been doing more of the documentary vlog type, I don't know what you want to call it, just commentary style videos. And it's not as personable as just talking to the camera and showing things live. And obviously I've been working with some companies and I actually have another Hemiway event this weekend. So shout out to Hemiway for showing love. A lot of e-bike stuff to come. I will probably make a new channel, like I said, for that. So let me know your comments down below. I just don't want to dilute this channel. This thing is my baby. I've built it up from ground zero and we're nearing that 100,000 subscriber mark. So I don't want to dilute the channel. This is my art form. I want the best of the best to be on this channel and some of the review videos to me just don't feel authentic. So let me know your thoughts. YouTube is in a weird spot right now where it's really only promoting short form videos like the YouTube shorts if you've ever seen that. So I will be uploading a lot more of those to try to stay relevant and try to get closer to that 100,000 mark. But I think we're gonna go ahead and wrap this video up. We've got a lot of stuff to get done today, but we're actually gonna trim the mud flap later. Yes, guys, it has been a long time with the mullet, but I'm over it, man. It is time to go move on, less maintenance. Yeah, it's just been annoying the crap out of me. So I'm actually gonna pick up Mace later, my uh, Neff son, and we're gonna go get our mud flaps trimmed together. So I might throw in some clips of that, but the next time you see me, I'll be looking like a completely different person. But that's gonna go ahead and wrap up the video, guys. I really appreciate you watching. Make sure you're subscribed if you're not already. Leave a like, it helps out the algorithm. And until the next video, live free and adventure daily.